Allah Azza wa Jal talked about this in Surah Al-Ankabut. One of my favorite surahs in the Quran, Surah Al-Ankabut, the 29th surah. The 29th surah is a late Makki surah. A lot of young Sahaba were there in, in that struggle along the Prophet ﷺ who lost their friends. Parents didn't want to talk to them anymore. Friends didn't want to talk to them anymore. They were getting boycotted only because they were Muslim. You know what we're learning from that? If the best, and they're the best people. I mean, they're really the best people. And they're boycotted. You know what that means? When you decide to take a turn in your life towards Allah, chances are you will be boycotted by your friends. Chances are you will lose friends along the way. Chances are your people are not going to want to hang out with you anymore. You used to hang out with your friends and do all kinds of things with them. Now you say, no, 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 I can't do that. I don't want to go there. I don't want to do this. I, you know, no, I'd rather not watch that. You know, you, you, you had a friend, you guys used to talk about girls all the time. But then you, some, something came in, you made a istighfar, then he calls you again. Yo, bro, guess what I just saw? Guess who I just talked to? And like, I don't want to talk about that, bro. It's okay. Whoa, what happened? What happened? Well, you were okay with that last month? Yeah, that was last month. I'm not like that anymore. Psh, come on, really? And they're trying to reel you back in, right? But then you, you, you just stop yourself. You stop yourself and you say, no, 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 I can't do that anymore. So you, you know what's going to happen? They're going to say, you're no fun anymore. There's, it's no fun hanging out with you anymore. And they'll cut you out. Again, you don't give up on them, but they will. They have no reason to not give up on you. They'll give up on you. And that kind of, they can make you really depressed. You can feel like, I mean, I don't... Ever since I started getting more serious about our Allah's deen, I started losing friends. And friends are a big part of life. You, it's, it's a really valuable thing to have in life, right? It's, what are we going to do without our friends? You know? So what does Allah say as a consolation to these Sahaba who are losing friends? Who are even losing family in some cases. Their parents are giving up on them. Like Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas right? What does Allah say to them? He says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَنُدْخِلَنَّهُمْ فِي الصَّالِحِينَ People who have iman, people who do good things, I will absolutely enter them, I will inject them, absolutely, no doubt about it, into the company of the righteous. The ayah before I told you, you will be, one of the gifts of Allah is that you will find friends that you are comfortable with that are righteous. But then you, you say to yourself, well, how am I going to get those friends? And this ayah Allah tells us, look, you lost friends, I see that. You're isolated, you've been boycotted, I see that. You continue to believe in me and do the right thing and you watch. I will put you in the middle of really good people. I will do that for you. He will enter you into good people's company here and in the next life. What more can we ask for? And I can tell you this is an absolute fact. It's an absolute fact. My, the, the organization I represent for example, is not a one-man show. It's not just me. Actually, most of the things that get done in my organization, almost all of the things that get, get done in Bayin, I get done by someone other than myself. I am actually the, the one who does the least amount of work at my organization. Everybody else does the work. But Allah has put people in my path that I couldn't, I couldn't possibly have found them through a job search or through like, I need some good volunteers and things like that. Allah put them in my path. And they're priceless people to me. They're the most valuable people to me. You know? And it, uh, some of them are friends, some of them are employees, and even as employees, they're friends. And they're, they're the most valuable assets you can Im imagine. People that are in business can testify. People that are in business know the hardest thing you can find is people you can trust. A business partner you can trust, an employee you can trust. You know, it's the hardest thing to find. And Allah is saying, you just try to do the right thing and I will, I will give you that. I will give you the ultimate gift of great friends. And that's really what we want. We want the, the, the salihin to be our friends, the good people to be our friends, righteous people to be our friends, so that that comfort we have with them in this dunya doesn't disappear in the akhirah. You know, Allah already said that. Friends will be enemies on that day. People are going to run from each other on that day, but not these people. Illa al-muttaqeen. Except people of taqwa. So that's really my hope for myself and for all of you. Be on the lookout for good friends. But more than that, you be the good friend yourself. You be a source of good influence. Don't be a consumer. Oh, nobody's good friends with me, therefore I messed up. Well, why aren't you yourself a source of goodness? Why aren't you take leading the way? 
Why aren't you the first to say, no, 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 I'm not impressed by the hype. You know, I'm going to be who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. I don't have to fake, my, fake it and try to be someone I'm not.